Welcome to the Narrow Boat at James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, today's a uh, big day here on the boat because uh, this afternoon after work, uh, the boat's been taken out of the water onto the trolley for inspection. So uh, we'll have to see then what the uh, what the outcome's like. But um, I'll show you kind of the plan on the slip as to where it's got to go and what we've got to do with it. But uh, yeah, that'll be this afternoon after work. Um, today I've got some little brushes um, so I'm going to do some detailed painting on the boat just kind of finish up um, I went to see Carol last night um, down in Southampton uh, she sends her best wishes to everyone and thanks you all for your kind messages and support and everything so um, and Carol obviously lovely to see you she needed some help putting in some bits and pieces, so she had a, a, an Alexa to install, um, some lights and things like that, and her phone she needed sorting out, and some stuff moving in her kitchen. So, um, yeah, happy to serve. So, uh, thank you very much. I got this hat. I don't know if you can make out, but um, Buckingham Palace, obviously, do baseball caps, and if Buckingham Palace do something, then obviously I'll have it. Uh, Carol also got me a few bottles. Um, there's this one, whiskey, naked grouse, she said it's by the uh, famous grouse company, but so that's a really nice one, that's her favourite one, so I can start to drink what she drinks. Um, there was a bottle of Linda's Farm Slow Gin, the bottle looks amazing, but she said it's, uh, this is actually made on the Holy Island, so um, I'd be interested to see what that's like. And um, another bottle that she gave me was that. So cheers for that, my love. Right, I've got work to do, and then this afternoon I can get the boat out of the water with John's help. Or should I say, John will get the boat out of the water with me kind of watching, um, and then we'll take it from there. Well, as you can see, the slip is available. There's loads of room available. So basically the plan will be to bring the boat out kind of up as high as we can get it here so that the hole is kind of here-ish. And that will hopefully give us enough height to see underneath the boat, assess the damage, assess the hole, and investigate what the best solution is. using the tug. Pool power. What we're doing now is just lining up where the leak is, which is this mark here, we're just lining up that on the trolley. Where? Yeah, it's here.
and because this is a v-shaped hull uh, even though it's quite a shallow v it's going onto a flat trolley because most narrowboats are flat bottomed so jez is just going down here with some chocks to put them in the voids created by the v basically which unfortunately for jez means standing in the uh nasty canal water but uh that's what the people here do for uh, their customers and then once we've got it kind of stabilized and wedged in place then we'll pull it out on the trolley basically as high up as we can get it ideally so we can get underneath it at the front part of the boat here we go See if the hole's out of the water. That, that mark there. Yeah, we're out of the water. Is that one dripping? Yeah, I think it is that one dripping. Oh shit, Rick. Fucking hell, John. Cheers for the warning. Have a lay on your back, you'll, you'll be able to come and see what I mean. Just here, come right under. See this area here? Yeah. See that there? Yeah. I mean, that is just. No doubt, with a screwdriver, I'll probably be able to poke right the way through that. Oh, yeah. Bad. You ain't got a scraper on board, have you? Yeah. Metal scraper. I can see the old, that's your old here. Is that the hole? Yeah, that's the old, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, let me get your scraper. Yeah, if it gets your scraper, just so splattering too much shit everywhere with that grinder straight off the bat. Grab us a little screwdriver and all, mate. Yeah, just something, not a good one, just something to have a little poke with. How's it look under there? Hole in it. Yeah. That's <laughs> a hole. Pardon? How bad is it? Uh, you know, I don't know, sort of nearly the end of the tip of your little finger, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, mate. Oh. Let's see what Yeah, there's your 
holy moly. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. Yeah? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it says bigger set screwdriver. Look. Fuck. We should have got under it if they fit and put a screwdriver in it. Yeah, but I mean this whole area here. Yeah, it's, it's looking bit... fantastic. I mean you've got some pits over here just that look pretty, pretty bloody deep, really. But like, what do you do? Yeah, there's pits here, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a pit that's gone through, that is. And I suppose it's been smashed about a little bit as well, and that's the first bit to touch bottom. Yeah. But then if you look along here, it's going the same way. Okay, so this will give you some kind of orientation. I am kind of just a little bit ahead of the hatch on the port side. Let's go under. Wait for the light to adjust. Okay, so now we're looking down the boat. And as you can see, there is our little hole. You can see it because it's still wet. So at this point in time, anything which is wet, and that is still, if I was to put my finger into that hole, I can still feel that's a bit moist. So, um, that dictates, obviously there's a hole there. The rest of it, I am fairly glad to report, there are no signs of damp patches, which is good. There's a few areas which took its time to dry out, like that little spot there. But it seems okay-ish. Look at this position ourselves on the boat. So I'm by the front starboard anode underneath the hull. Wait for the light to acclimatize. And you'll see, it looks like the surface of the bloody moon. There's loads of pits. So, any suggestions with what to do here would be uh, welcomed. I don't know if it's worth filling in all the pits or whether it's worth plating this bit over because there's a decent, on this bit here, that's quite thick, so we can definitely weld to that. Also, does anyone know what these little things are poking down here? There's loads of them. One there. They kind of all seem to be uniform, so I'm wondering if it's some kind of fixture. They're a bit random. I'm kind of getting a bit more used to being underneath the boat now. It's horrible. Well, it was to begin with. I mean, the thought of 25 tonnes of metal above you. And all the booze from Carol. It's 20 tonnes of boat, 5 tonnes of stuff from Carol. Well, it's a bit of a... Uh, kind of mixed bag today. It's good that the boat's out of the water. Uh, and uh, the hull's been inspected quite a bit um, it's pretty apparent though that a lot of work needs to be done to it um, so you know there's a couple hundred pits that need to be filled um, but we still need to work out what the best way of welding it is um, we can either put a plate possibly the best thing to be would be to weld it up to this kind of seal here when it's been overplated up to there it's quite that's, it's kind of got a bit of chunk to, to weld onto uh, and maybe do like a thinnish sheet maybe three or four mil onto that and then in the center then weld onto weld onto that the problem is in the center it's just not good enough steel to actually weld onto we're just going to burn holes in it so it's gonna have to come quite far out um we sh we're hoping we can get it done on the trolley because then if we can we're talking you know, an amount of money which is feasible. 
But yeah, it's still kind of, I don't know, a bit, I wouldn't say it's touch and go. When Big was here, well, thanks Big for coming, mate. I really appreciate it. He moored up down by the, by the aqueduct um, and he called me and said, do you want me to walk up and have a look at it? So, um, you know, I said, he knows his stuff. So, um, you know, and him and I were speaking and he's right, there's, you know, it's, it's not worth much at the moment with a hole in the bottom, so I've got to keep going with it. Um, and I want to, um, you know, and I want it to be in the water. I don't want it to be on the hard standing. That's not right for us. So, you know, keep going, throw more money at it, find more money, then throw, then throw it at it and see where we get to. But, you know, the, the, it's not all horrific. It's not like the whole bottom needs to be redone. Uh, it could be that we do patches and then in a year's time take it out of the water and do it again somewhere else with a you know a lift so there's a few options well anyway this is kind of i've done as much as i can here today so i'm going to go back to london now and um i don't know when i'll be back uh, it'll be sometime this week i'm hoping but i'll keep you posted no doubt until then i hope you're all very well take care bye bye